Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to adapt vintage lenses onto your Canon EOS M camera. Now it's not really vintage lenses only, you can also adapt some modern lenses. But anyways, we're going to be talking about Canon FD mount lenses. It's a bunch of Canon FD lenses still out there. M42, also called as Universal Screw Mount, Nikon F Mount, and Pentax K Mount. Cool thing about the the M is that it's a mirrorless camera, so it doesn't have a mirror, which basically means you can adapt almost any lens ever made onto it. The problem with the other cameras is, such as if you had like a Canon SLR, the mirror it prevented you from using Canon FD lenses, and also on if you had a, a Canon DSLR part of the EOS line, it also prevented you from using. Canon FD lenses. Now you could use M42 lenses, Nikon F, and Pentax K on them. You just couldn't use Canon F, but on the on the M you can. All you need to adapt um Canon FD lenses is this little adapter right here. It's by a Chinese company called Fotka or some sh or something along those lines. The adapter was 12 bucks ship from the US. I'll have the link down below to all the products and uh, other videos I have on these lenses. The adapter is actually made really good. It's all metal. There's no slop at all. It has a little ring right here that controls the aperture. If you want it wide open you turn it this way. Such as when you're focusing and then want to step down the lens you turn it this way and then move that little pin right there that works on this lens. Uh, when you want to mount a Canon FD lens to the adapter, there's a, a red dot right here. And you look for the, the red dot on the lens, and you just mount it this, just mount it like so until it slips into place. You might have to move this little ring so it goes in smoothly. And then you want to turn this ring. You don't turn the actual lens. You just turn this ring. On some lenses, it'll be black. On some, it'll be so for this uh, Canon 50mm 1.4 it's a RI lens and I got it for next to nothing almost so can't complain about the price it's a cool thing about the, the Canon EFF mount the EFM mount Nikon F mount rear lens caps actually fit on it perfectly the only difference is that um, you have to turn it in the opposite direction but if it's perfectly it doesn't, doesn't fall off So there we go, we got a, a Canon 50mm 1.4 ready to mount on the Canon EFM M camera. The Canon EOS M camera, sorry about that. So first thing you want to do, you want to turn on your camera. And you want to turn on your camera, go into your menu, custom function. It's going to be custom function number 7, where it says release shutter without lens. You want to have that on number 1 that says enable. If you don't have that on, it will not let you take a picture with these lenses. So after you're done, turn off your camera. You can remove your stock lens. If you have the the this is the the twenty meter twenty two millimeter f two. You want to put the the lens cap. This is the uh, it's a Nikon F lens cap, and it actually fits perfectly. Found this out by accident. But the only, reason, the only way on um, the stock M cap, you turn it this way. The, on the Nikon, if you turn it the other way, and it fits perfectly, it doesn't fall off. That's a little quick tip. So now we got the Canon FD lens. It's mounted on the, the adapter. It's a red dot. Line that up with your the white dot on your on your camera body. Twist, and you're ready to go. Now on the M, uh, the lens will retain infinity focus. And you have no image quality loss because there's no glass in the mirror in the in the middle. Then just turn on your camera, and it's ready to shoot. One cool thing that I'd recommend if you want to really get into manual focus lenses, one one thing you can use right here, this little magnifying glass. When you push that, it will actually zoom in, help you focus, and then. The only thing that sucks about the stock firmware, after you, you focus, you have to hit this again and again until it's done. Then you compose your shot and take the picture. 
Now if you want to make your, your life a whole lot easier, what you could do is install Magic Lantern. I have a video down below. I'll have a, the link down below. It's pretty cool because it'll let you install stuff such as Magic Zoom, which I'll show you what it does in a second. First we're going to activate the Magic Lantern Live View. And it has a picture in picture as you see right there. And that will help you focus your picture. And then you, you can compose your picture at the same time. You don't have to push the the magnifying glass. So that's it for Canon FD lenses. Pretty straightforward. You just need a disc adapter. Have the link down below. It was like 12 bucks, I think. And now we're going to be talking about... This is not adapter. This is a Canon EF to EFM adapter. Bunch of you guys are probably going to have this already. You can get the stock Canon one, which I think is like $200. This one is, is also a vodka Chinese adapter that I got. So it's, it's also made out of metal. It's no slopping in the add-on. It was like 12 bucks. Now this one does not retain autofocus. If you need autofocus, you're gonna have to pick up the Canon one, or there's also one made by a company I think called Michaels or something like that. I have a good review, so I have the link down below to get one of those too. But if you don't need, if you don't need autofocus, then you just go with these adapters because it's really cool. Now the reason I, I recommend getting a, a Canon EF to EFM adapter is because all the other lenses are really easy adaptable to Canon EF mount. Like this lens right here is an M42 screw mount lens. It adapts M42 to Canon EF and you can use this on your Canon DSLR and on your SLR with no will you retain infinity focus and there's no quarry loss because there's no glass in the, middle, in the middle I mean this adapter it's around four bucks or you can find them cheaper if you're from China but if you get them from the US they're like four bucks you can also get a chipped adapter but you don't need that with the M because there's no connection on your DSLR or SLR I recommend getting the chipped adapter because it lets you retain autofocus confirm and it actually works actually real treat so after you adapt it your lens is the M42 also called Universal Screw Mount. Those pen tags before these pen tags came, and it's adapted to Canon EF now, so I can use it on the Canon DSLR, the EOS, or on the SLR. Now we're just gonna mount it on the EF to EFM adapter. Red dot to the red dot. Line that up. Twist, and you're ready to release the lens. You just push this little lever here down. Twist off. Then to put it in, it locks into place. Then the same thing with this one. We remove the, the lens off on it first, and we adapt the M42 lens, and it's that easy. I have all the links down below to all the adapters in the description area. If you have any questions, comment, just leave them down below. So I have a videos on in the individual lens mount. Just I'm not gonna include them in this video because it'll take like a whole hour. But I have the links down below also because I've, I've done them before. So that was M42. So now this is Pentax K. This is a Promura 28 millimeter 2.8 lens. It's one of the sharper lenses I've ever used. It's unbelievably sharp. It's, it also does one to four reproduction. It's really nice. This is a Pentax. K to Canon EF adapter. There's a little lever right here that you push to remove the lens. And this is the adapter. The the non-chipped one, it costs like around five bucks. I have the link down below. For the EOS M, you don't need the chip. The chip one you only need if you're using on an SLR or on a, on a DSLR. Cool thing about the M, you don't need the, the chip adapter, so it's cheaper. Also, you don't have to worry about the aperture pin lever thing right here. Pentax K lenses, most of them have this. And when you're using on a DSLR or on an SLR, it gives you some issues. Well, what I do sometimes is I just bend it down or I chop it off depending on the lens. On the on the M, you, you don't have to worry about it. So there's a large, large gap right here where the mirror will go. So the pin will go in there and it will twist around without giving you any issues. You just have to worry about it when you're using on a DSLR or SLR. So then you twist the lens, there's a little pin make sure it goes down to make contact with the with the flange 
and you just line up the red dot to the red dot and there you go this is the Pentax K which I believe the Pentax K mount came out after the M42 mount they're still using it today I believe just um, if you use like one that has the, the aperture built into the lens uh, you're probably going to run into issues with that one so just use the older ones that have the aperture ring like so also if you're doing video you can declick these lenses like my like my 50mm 1.4 it's declick so when I twist it you don't hear that click <laughs> that's mainly for, for video it makes it smoother and you don't hit the click so now let's move on to Nikon F Nikon has been using the same F mount since 1959 I believe it's the same F mount they just have variations of it such as AI and like AI is this, I believe this is an AI lens there's a little layer right here that you push to twist on and off Nikon F also turns the opposite direction of everybody else so you turn this way instead of that way so there's the lens mount on the newer Nikon lens like from 2000 and up I think there's some lens called a G lens and that doesn't have the aperture ring for that you're gonna need a separate adapter but if you have one that has the aperture ring right here you just need a regular F mount adapter if you get the chipped one it's like 12 bucks that's if you're using a DSLR or SLR on the M you don't need this one so it'll probably be like 5 or 8 bucks somewhere around there it'll be cheaper as always I'll have the links down below and to mount it, it just you just find the way it slots in. Then remember, it turns the opposite direction and locks into place. After after being converted to Canon EF, you just find the little this little red dot right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but just line that up with this one, and you're ready to go. That's Nikon F on Canon EF M mount. Well, it's actually you can also use it on the Canon EF cameras that use Canon EF lenses that also work and last but not least I believe that's all of them we talked about M42 talked about Nikon F, Pentax K you can also use there's a version of Contax I have can you pronounce that camera manufacturer I think it's Contax uh, Olympus the OM mount you can use that I have the link down below Yashica and there's a couple of other ones. I'll have all the links down below if you're interested. I also have videos on each lens mount. And I'll show you the difference between the adapters. This M42 lens, the other one. Here's a M42, another two M42 lenses. This one has the the chipped adapter, which it's useful if you use it on a, on a Canon DSLR or on a SLR, because it, it gives you autofocus confirm and it shows the aperture. You can program it also. This one is the one that I use on the M because on um, the M is not using any electronic contacts, so, so you don't have to splurge on the most expensive one. These ones range like between fourteen and twenty-five dollars. The non-chip ones are really cheap; they're like four dollars at the most six. I'll have the links down below to all of these if you're interested in getting them. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Remember, going to the custom functions, let it number seven turn it so it lets you use uh, lenses without without the shutter I'll just show you again go to comes to functions uh, number seven release shutter without lens enable that will let you do this I'll let you take a picture without having to without having it to have contacts so you can use any any lens you want on it if you are interested in, man in using the, this cool little manual focus thing, it's called a picture in pictures by Magic Lantern. They have really great stuff. They unlock so much stuff in this camera. It's amazing. I'll have the link down below to install it. It's just an alpha version right now, so it's just for testing. If they do a beta one, a beta version, I'll release that too. But as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.